Hi guys, what is up? It has been a while. Life has gotten crazy, work has gotten crazy. I wanted to film a little like work day in my life the other day and it just never ended up happening because I was just rushing too much. So I just scratched that video. But I'm switching over my summer spring stuff and putting fall away. I am so out of breath. I'm exhausted and mother nature's here so it's just everything's hitting us right now. Um, I've taken Excedrin, ibuprofen. nothing's helping unfortunately. And I keep putting clips in my hair and everything's hurting my head. Maybe I'll just do a scrunchie. Um, but I just went through my whole closet as you guys seen. And just put all the winter stuff away. I just literally took all this out from more stuff underneath my bed that was hidden in like the back. So I want to go through some of that stuff, see if there's anything I can sell on Poshmark. I sold a lot of my stuff. I mean, I still have some stuff on there. I will try to leave my link. I always forget to leave my link, but um, I thought we can go through some of this stuff. I'm also just trying to lean on my bed. Okay, don't mind that. That all has to go in the closet. I feel like I can get rid of this dress. All right, this shirt I'm keeping. I'm not even trying on shorts yet, but We'll see if they fit. Get rid of this. And this. Alright. Flip flops should all be good. That has to go to the room. Get rid of these. God, I'm so nauseous. This is not fun. I guess I'll hang this up for like a regular top. Oh, God damn. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna sell these huge ass heels because I cannot wear them. And I keep saying I'm going to and I just, I'm not a heel girly. Keep, keep shorts. I also, I might just do like, what am I doing? No, these go over there. Like a couple days in my life we might do this because I want to put up Easter and take down St. Patty's Day, but I don't think I'm going to do it today because I'm like, I think I'm tapped out. I did a lot today. Why do I keep throwing the good shoes by the selling shoes? Throw them out there. Um... I did most of school work for this week, so that is fantastic. Hats, I guess, can go right here. Um, actually, no. I did the dishes today. My laundry is actually still in the dryer. I should probably do that. That light's bothering me. Um, I might just throw these out. Unless my mom wants them. Um, what else did I do today? Just a dress. Let's see, I have a note. And I've been up since 7 o'clock when me and my boyfriend woke up. It's been crazy. Okay, cleaned out the fridge, I took out the trash, I did the dishes, I drank my drink, I did my laundry, I also did a workout. I walked dogs today. Don't think I'm getting a reading, but that is totally fine. I can read tomorrow. So, it has been crazy, but in a good way. Okay. 
I guess I should like still talk to you guys about like what's been going on. I don't even know what you've missed. I don't know when the last time I've filmed. Um. I had my friend's bachelor party. Seriously guys, when was the last time I talked to you? Also 333, angel numbers, we love that. Let's see, when was the last time I talked to you guys? Valentine's, wow. Yeah, it's been a bit. So, had my friend's bachelor party, then we had her bridal shower. Um, I, it's gotten nicer, so I've just went to the park. I might just throw these out, I don't know where the other one is. Went to the park with my boyfriend. We got a fish. Boy oh boy, we killed a lot <laughs> before learning that you have to let a tank go through some like environmental phase. Didn't know this. So now we have a little beta fish, which they live forever, hard to kill. So we figured on that one. Um, what else has happened? Just been working. I'm looking at my calendar if you guys are wondering. We have a UFC fight coming the end of this month. And then it's Easter, which is crazy. Did I say, I said I had my friend's bridal shower, I think, too, right? I don't even know. It's just a been busy. Busy. Yesterday was St. Patty's Day. We had a calm St. Patty's Day. We finished season four of Vampire Diaries. And now we're going to be on to season three of The Boys, which is his show. We switch on and off with whose show. Um, yeah, I think that's basically much what you guys have missed. Oh, I want to get back to filming again. Like I said, we have a lot of things coming up. We're going to South Carolina in June for a week. That'll be fun because we're driving. So I want to vlog that. Um, let me put you guys down so I can just hold these. Yeah, so I want to do that. We have my friend's wedding coming up in two weeks, I believe. So that is fun. Um, I don't know if I want to hang this up or not. Yeah. Good cover up. Um, but I think that's like the update. Everything's been going great. Just super busy. There's no way these shorts are going to fit my butt but we'll figure it out yeah so that's the update i'm gonna get back to this and then i honestly might just see you guys tomorrow i just wanted to come on an intro so you guys know what's up so yeah let me finish this and i will see you guys tomorrow this should be good. Okay, later me is going to be happy that I ran upstairs to grab jacket options. Just in case it's cold. I want a jacket for later. Because I don't totally know what my outfit's going to be. It's 12.20 right now. It usually takes me like an hour and 20-ish minutes to get there. As long as there's not like a crazy amount of traffic. So, I think she said she's going to do Viore for gift card. So I said I was going to do either like Lululemon or Aloe for him. But there's an Aloe and Lululemon in there. I can't remember if I've seen him wear. I don't think I'm going to use the toll road this time because it was often. So, like, Viore and Aloe, those ones definitely get used. That's also why I have a ton of Viore leggings because I get such a good deal on them. But it makes sense for me to buy them. A there. lot of things changed with the introduction of electricity. We started staying up later. We weren't working with nature as much. With the Industrial Revolution, we're now mass producing things and opposing nature. People are working all hours of the day. Kids used to work, and that was just like normal. And so what's happening here is pain has become normalized. Disconnection has become normalized. Honoring the rational mind has become normalized. And completely ignoring our sacred gift of intuition has become normalized. And so now when you're
you're honing your intuition. <laughs> you might be called wacky, bonkers, I've heard it all. <laughs> and that's okay because after I'm happier with time, then soon people start asking me, okay, so what's your secret? What's your trick? What are you doing? And that's when, you know, when the stage is ready, the teacher will appear. So we have this entire culture that glorifies, you know, workaholics and disease and everything that goes into nature. And we become really, really ill. And I think that the intuition is the fastest way to restore health on a personal level. Bioindividuality and multidimensional health. In fact, it's these two core concepts that actually make multidimensional <coughs> coaching power. Others live their best, healthiest lives. Now, choosing a specific organizational method can be very bioindividual. It works for another business owner, may not work for you. But keep that in mind that you decide how to manage all that. sessions. So having a spot in an office or a rented meeting space may work for those clients. But many clients prefer to communicate. And the answer is probably yes to some degree, but actually this weekend is just going to be Kaylee and I because Kaylee's fiance is an attorney and he's currently in a huge, huge, huge trial, meaning he can't travel right now. Alright you guys, it's um, a few days later. I don't know when I last talked to you guys. I filmed yesterday, but honestly, I spent most of the day sleeping because I don't know if I'm feeling a little under the weather or mother nature. I don't know what's going on with me, but I felt like I had like a drip. So I felt like it was going to lead to a sinus infection. So I've just been taking Mucinex and an allergy pill. Since springtime's coming, I feel like the allergies are going to be horrendous. And honestly, my mood was great this morning. And then my boss texted me saying, oh, you have a meet and greet at 7 p.m. tonight. <sighs> meet and greet for dogs are just not fun. Plus, we don't get paid for them unless the client wants to take us on. So I just feel like it's a waste of my time. But whatever. Um, so yeah, so that got added on to my day. And now I'm just like over today. So honestly, I'm going to sit in the bed until my... I think I have, I think I go back at 3.30. I have three more dogs and then the meet and greet, which I'll have to come back here, eat dinner, and then go. But I'm just going to eat these little noodles. My grandma got me them from Costco, I think, and I like the Japanese noodles. Pretty good. Reminds me of ramen. And I'm just going to zone in, read my book, go into like another world right now, and I feel like I'm going to end probably the vlog off there because I'm not going to do anything else. I do, I don't know, I am feeling very creative. Oh, maybe before I read, I'll edit some more um, Instagram and TikToks if I can. Um, I've been feeling very creative with videos and stuff lately. And I've been watching people like vlog daily. And I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to do that. But I don't want to just jump right into it because I know I'm not going to be able to do it right away. So I might start doing once a week and then doing twice and then every so often. Because we do have a lot of stuff coming up. I've just been all over the place with trying to get on a schedule with this job. So, yeah, hopefully to start doing daily vlogs. That's my goal.
we will see how it works maybe not even daily but like monday through friday type things or something like that we'll see i want to do something I'm not sure what yet but yeah i'm gonna dive into this food because i'm actually kind of hungry and just relax and chill my mind so i will see you guys in the next video